Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Blur. Welcome to my winter eBay and Facebook purchase recap video. So it's been the winter of 2024. Um, this is my first of two videos. In the first video, I'm going to show all the autograph cards. So I guess this was probably not the best item to put in the background here. We'll put this one in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, in this video all of the trading cards that I purchased during the fall of 2024 on eBay and Facebook, but um, yeah, and then the second video will show you all the stuff that aren't trading cards. So let's go ahead and go in the order here. So first up, trading cards here. I made a very small three dollar fifty cent purchase. It was a buck a card plus a dollar fifty ship of Stephen Brault. I know someone was doing a VR where they were talking about you know pitchers, good hitting pitchers. This guy took pride. In his at bats, he took pride in his base running. They would use him as a pinch hitter, a pinch runner. I mean, good stuff, Stephen Brault. And from the sounds of it, he's going to be a part of the television crew at the Pirates now, which is awesome. He's a really cool guy. Anyway, here's a big purchase I made from Jim DeCandolo, who is the uh, person who runs Mainline Autographs. Had a bunch of autographs from you know from past shows. And they were four bucks a card. I bought 22 of them. <laughs> I bought the Doug Drabeck. Couldn't pass up the 86s. All right, good stuff there. Got a couple 86s and a couple 87s. And a bunch of Bill Madlocks for four bucks a card. He's $10 through the mail. So I, um, yep. Bill Madlock, four batting titles. Doesn't get hardly any discussion, it seems like, outside of Pittsburgh ever for the Hall of Fame. He's in the Dave Parker, Al Oliver, Bill Madlock, Danny Murtaugh of... How are those Pirates not even getting talks about the Hall of Fame? And then I bought some Junior Ortiz because he's five bucks through the mail. I don't want to send him five bucks through the mail, but for four dollars a card, and I think 84 was his rookie year. I think. So I'll buy the 84... Fleer, Donruss, and Tops. And then Bobby Valentine. Wish I could have got more, but I'll take the 72 and the uh, 77. Oh, we jumped to some manager as well here. On the 86, the 87, and the 87. So lots of fun right there. I uh, didn't hold back, and for four bucks a card, coming from someone who you know had signings with those players, that sounds good to me. It's going to be a lot of autograph cards to show you. So this came from someone named Sean on a Facebook purchase here. So, yeah. Got some post cereal here of Bob Skinner. And I didn't mean to get Bill White. That was a total whoops on my part. I typed the wrong number, but hey, maybe I'll be glad my, my little whoops there. John Montefusco, the Count, had a really cool in, cool interaction with him. It was either in 2016 or 2018 at the National. I can't remember. My buddy's Papa's cards had the super cool interaction with him. Milt May, former Pirate there. Very nice. Paul Smith on the 58. Jim Mudcat Grant on the 58. Dick Grote on the 58. Arrow White Face on the 59. Oh, that Dick Rowe is a 59 as well. I got a little ahead of myself here. But that's okay. Billy Pierce. Didn't really intend to buy this, but he offered me such a good deal on this because you can see it was creased at one point real bad. It is signed by everyone but Ron Klein, Bob Friend, Vern Law, Arrow White Face. So, very nice to add some more pirates. Well, those were mostly pirates, you know, to the collection there. And then we had some small trading card purchases. Mason Martin had a great year in the minor leagues for the pirates. I don't even know if he's still with them, but two bucks a card with a dollar shipping. Yeah, I'll do five bucks for two of those. With shipping, five bucks for a Vern Law custom card? Y yes. Gladly. So this was probably sent TTM to him because, and it wasn't even advertised on the back of him loading it up. Holy cow, look at this. 
That was a good surprise. Jeez, oh man. Looking back, I'm a little surprised I bought these. It was two fifty um, a card plus a buck fifty for shipping. We've got Frank Viola on the Diamond King. Well, that's a five dollar bill if you send to him through the mail. And we've got the Bob Boone on the Father Son card. So I guess it made sense why I purchased that at the first glance. I'm like, why did I get that again? So here we got two pirates. We got Bubba Chandler on his first Bowman. I'm not hearing much about him though so that's not a good sign but I really wanted to get the Andy Rodriguez unfortunately he is out for this season but that should give in theory you would think Henry Davis a chance to shine this card was only five bucks plus a dollar to ship the Stuart Foods card so glad to get this because I got this set but I never got that card signed by Bill Verdon Thin blue Sharpie looks great with that Expos uniform with all those colors there. Th no, four more trading card video or purchases to show you. So we got Buddy Pritchard on the 58. But this is the one that I really wanted. I wanted the Nelly Bryles. He's not with the Pirates in that anymore with that. In that photo, or, or he's not with them yet, I should say. He was with them later on in for the 71 World Series. That's so cool. Nelson Nelly Bryles. Very nice. This one only set me back $5 shipped with a Dick Grote. Um, so it kind of separated from that, which it's still cool though. Put it in a soft sleeve and top loader. I'll never really remember. No, I, I don't know. We'll see. And then this one. Three bucks plus a dollar to ship. Only four bucks for an Al Oliver. Just a tad smudgy smudgy there. But uh, yeah, him, Bill Madlock, Dave Parker especially. Danny Murtaugh. Man, why aren't these pirates getting consideration for the haul? Um, okay, and my last trading card to show you. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you everything in this video. Why the heck not? Forget two videos. Let's make a loaded video. My buddy's papa's cards and I were literally talking about Mace Brown. I showed a video with Mace Brown on it. And uh, John Mangini was commenting about Mace Brown. It's like, i got to look into this guy more. And then I saw this. The 78 TCMA Authentic Auto. Personalized to Steve, which is perfect. The seller had or best offer, so I offered fifteen dollars, which it had free shipping, and the seller took it. It was like automatically accepted it. So fifteen dollars ninety cents. That's cool. That's actually really stinking cool there. So you got the Brooklyn Dodgers hat, but uh, was a pirate. So I might as well show you. Yeah, wait, there's three things to show you here that aren't trading cards. Well, this is kind of a card. So, um, yeah. Granted, someone could argue, Math Buller, they signed these for free. Yeah. But I had other stuff I wanted to get signed by him, so I wasn't going to ask him to if he could sign a card or not. One of these 4x6s, team-issued photo cards. I ended up picking one up with tax and shipping for $24. So I'm actually pretty darn happy with that. O'Neill Cruz could end up being amazing, so I was glad to get one of those signed by him. Because if I'm at a signing or whatever, I'm not going to ask him for one of those. I want other stuff signed by him. I have two autographed baseballs to show you. I've shown you a lot of Pirates. Let's get away from the Pirates for a moment. This is on a, on a Manfred baseball. Beckett authenticated. We got Ronald Acuna signed baseball. Purchased this from Nick Key in the Just Baseballs group on Facebook. So, yeah, with shipping, the baseball, the authentication, the autograph, picking that up for under under a hundred dollars. That's good. I'm not talking ninety nine dollars either. I mean, that's that's really good. It's glad to get that he had twelve of them. I was able to grab one of those. And then there's this one. This is intriguing. This was a Facebook purchase. It's a Pirates multi-signed baseball. 
try to just touch it by the laces here. And I can't identify some of the players on here, and I'm not even sure if they're Pirates. We've got Chuck Tanner, local guy. Elroy Face, Al Oliver. Ooh. Maybe, just look at the name, maybe Johnny Calhoun, which I know doesn't really exist. Dave Cash, Gene Alley, very cool. I do not know that top name there. I do not recognize the autograph. Dave Justy, Vern Law. Matty Alou, Mateo Alou. Frank Thomas, Bob Veal, Wilbur Wood, Doc Ellis. And then there's the panel that has me stumped. Straight up stumped. Looks like Dick Dietz. Looks like Roy Seavers. Cannot tell who the next three are. No clue. But still, um, yeah. Uh, William White National League ball. That's That makes sense from a time period there. So, yeah, I just got a very big multi-sign Pirates baseball with tax and shipping uh, for a pretty darn good price. Less than the Acuna baseball. Um, and the Acuna baseball wasn't that bad. So I ended up showing you everything. There's my entire winter eBay and Facebook purchase recap. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. Dang, that was a lot to look at. So, yeah, I, I upload three videos a week. A TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.